Hello everyone. So today, let me show you and talk about uh, the progress I've made so far with uh, Beamer. And uh, I'm quite happy and I'm I'm quite proud of myself because I've I've done few things, few changes to my setup. And of course, I want to show you. I want to talk about it. Now, if you look at first, let me show you this presentation. Now this presentation, which is nothing but a PDF file, is uh, nothing but a file that I generated using uh, org mode. And uh, I'm of course not trying to use Beamer because Beamer, I believe, is probably one of the most flexible, customizable, and, and a bit too difficult uh, mode to learn. And Beamer, to be honest, it has nothing to do with org mode. In I mean. You can use org mode with Beamer, but if you're trying to use Beamer, it is basically LaTeX. Now, the thing is that uh, when you're using Beamer, you have to use some themes. In this case, I'm using a theme called uh, Madrid, and uh, I'm also specifying this class options called Presentation. Now, I made a video recently where I showed you, in case you're trying to learn Beamer, you might want to look at various themes. And for me, for my needs, uh, I think Madrid theme looks good. I'm 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 happy with that. Now the thing is that with with each and every theme, you have to figure out a way to customize it, and it is not really straightforward. And uh, once you do it, it is great. Now the thing that I have done, or things that I have done so far is not really much to be honest, but I've just changed the color of this title box and. Uh, Apart from the title box, you have, you also have the option to modify the footer. So in this case, my footer has the three sections, the one which is on the left hand side, the one which is in the center and right. And of course, you now I'm displaying the logo here, which is quite interesting because if you have a logo here, you can then, you know, make it a bit more corporate-ish looking. And that is not really my intention, but I want my slides to have my branding. And I guess that is what I want, what what I want to do. What is what 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 is? I think you should also be looking at. Now, if I look at this particular uh, set of file, in this set of file, I have few things that I want to talk about. Now, the, now if you are trying, I mean, this is of course applicable to Madrid, and I believe uh, other themes, but think some of these things might be different. So you can specify the color that you want to use, the primary color. So I'm using my primary color, which is like SPX blue. I'm also using this. SPX brown color and you can then use these colors somewhere. Now that is of course not really straightforward thing to do. In case you're, you're using Madrid then uh, this will work. Now to change, I'll, I'll talk about, I'll, I'll not really talk about each and everything, I'll talk about you know the key things. For example if you want to change the color of let us say the title and uh, maybe a specific section. So this box here is nothing but, you know, this brown box is nothing but the title. And you have the option here. So basically you have to use something like uh, set beamer color, set beamer font and so on. For example, if uh, I want to set the color of this title or I, if I use structure, it will basically change the color uh, throughout and it will take care of, you know, the different shades of brown color. For example, right now, if I say structure brown, it will then make it brown and also the footer here will have different shades. So this right footer is primary, then it is secondary, center one is secondary and I believe this is uh, the left most one is tertiary if I'm, if I'm not wrong to be honest. But you can also set the color of your title which like only the title and uh, this title will be or can be changed. Uh, and of course if you're looking at uh, other slides each and every slide can have uh, its own frame title. So of course this is the title, but this is the frame, uh, you know, this whole area, a uh, frame title. And you can set the background color or the foreground color, of color which is in this case white. Now the other thing that I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to change the footer. So in my case, I have this footer with uh, basically this logo and uh, to to, to do this, you have to use something like a define Beamer template foot line. And uh, there is, I believe, a theme which is used as info lines only for the 
foot apart here for foot foot line foot line here it's called as foot line so basically based on the theme you have to figure out uh, the exact name of that particular area and then you can uh, i mean I, I can't really explain the code but basically i'm using here uh, uh, three different uh, sections section number 1 section number 2 and section number 3 and the total of the three sections should be equal to 1 which is basically basically your paper like the width of your flight i guess and then in this case uh, i'm using uh, this image which i am inserting here using include graphics so in case you are you're, you're using because include uh, include graphics is basically a way to embed graphics and uh, you just you just have to make sure that you insert it at the right place and that is it i'm still you know learning it i'm i'm still trying to make it work and i think i'm quite there uh i i'm 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 nearly there like where i want to go with my presentations and uh, these presentations are not really like too savvy or you know really fancy they are like simple presentations and that is the idea and good thing is that you don't have to you know do things you just define what you want in your slide and uh, you generate the slides using your org file or latex file tech file specifically so this is what i have done so far and uh, i will probably make i will definitely make more videos but i just wanted to give you some idea so i i, I guess you can also use madrid theme in case you're trying and bare minimum you just need like these four lines on top to be honest uh and that is it you can be up and running with bima but of course you now if you're using bima you may want to then customize it and uh, make it your own you may you may want to brand it all right that is it That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.